Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and I'm going to talk about 5 Xbox 360 horror games that are going to be right up your alley for people that are not into the atmosphere or the ones where there's a lot of jump scares, so we're going to dive right in. So for this one, it's going to be a classic, Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil 5 changed up their basic atmosphere and tank controls to be more of an action game where you are Chris Redfield and you meet a new partner and you're trying to go through a horde of zombies but you can kick and you can shoot and you feel like you're more of an action-based game who's trying to avoid something that is attacking you. You find the hit points, you knock them out, and you move on. So this one, yes there is zombies, yes there is horror, and yes there is a lot of like them gathering around and you feel like you're overwhelmed, but you really never feel like you're about to crap your pants. Now the next one is another Xbox 360 horror classic. Now it isn't a classic as far as a lot of people played it, but it is a classic to many retro gamers, and that is Splatterhouse. This is a reboot of the original three horror games that a lot of people have played on the Genesis. And this one basically is you are, again, like the first one where you are a person who has to figure out what happened and why you're wearing a mask and why you're suddenly super strong. And you have to save your lady love. But the one thing that I like about this one is it's more slaptastic. It's kind of like same thing where it's more action based, a little bit gory but you're not really scared all the time. You're literally just going, oh, survive and keep your health bar up. So for me, this one, I like it. The bosses are a little bit tedious and hard to get sometimes for beginners, but once you figure it out, you're good to go. So can you get to the very end and save the lady love? Now this one is going to be more of a side scroller and that is Limbo. Now this one you're gonna have to find in a triple pack or digitally, which I recommend you find the triple pack. This one is basically a little boy who is trying to figure out what's going on with his sister. And yes, there's some atmosphere horror, but because it's a side scroller, it's not like they're jumping right at you. You just have to avoid like little monsters, avoid the creepy people and all of the stuff that's going on in your town. And from there you can figure out where you need to go. I do like that there is more atmosphere as far as like your small little thing compared to everybody else and you're trying to figure out your way in life. Just like a child. You don't know what's going to happen, but you gotta figure out how to save your sister. So I recommend this one. Now the next one is going to be another hack and slash RPG style game and that is Diablo 3. For me, I like Diablo 3 for people that are not really into horror games but want to start dabbling into them because of the fact that basically it's just hordes of people like zombies and different things coming at you, demons and creatures and stuff that you have to sometimes work as a team or work by yourself and just like hack and slash your way through. I do like the fact that you never really are fully fully scared. I mean yeah, there's a ton of things that could come at you at one time. But if you keep yourself steady and keep your blade sharp, you should be fine. And occasionally throw some mystical powers your way to uh, knock them out. But yeah, Diablo 3 is not one of those games where you're going to feel like you're going to be crapping your pants. And the last one is going to be a good one that has a great story. And that is Darkness 2. Darkness 2 is basically a man who somehow gets attacked, doesn't know what happens, wakes up, hears a spirit that he's never heard before saying you want to get revenge kind of thing and all you have to do is feed the demon hearts. I'm down. <laughs> so this one is basically you're the one that's going around attacking people and you're trying to get through a mob and you're Jackie and you're saying I'm gonna figure out what happened to the people that I love and everything that's going on and why Nobody wants to be around me and the mob is going after me. So it's one of those things where, yeah, you're you're basically a demon. You're running around with two floaty head things and you're like, whoa, what is going on? Yeah, it's gory. But I don't feel this is going to make you crap your pants anytime soon. And there you have it. Five horror games for the not so into horror people. 
I hope that you will try out a few of these and see if they're up your alley. I mean, you might not find every single one of the stories that you liked, but I know there's at least a couple comedies in here that will tickle your fancy. So, what other games would you recommend for all of our horror buffs out there? Put in the comments down below that you think will not make people crap their pants, but are still worth a try for the people that want to dabble into horror. I want to see what you guys think of. So, thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe, and as always, keep on gaming. Spooky, spooky skeletons and shivers down your spine. It's Halloween in a couple days. Enjoy and stay safe. Bye. <laughs>